I'm Thomas, currently living with my wife and my dad. He's really getting up there in age, so we're taking it day by day. <sighs> and my wife. I'm home! <laughs> I can't believe you ordered takeout again, Jennifer. Why can't you just cook for a change? You literally have nothing else to do all day. Ugh, you know I can't cook. If you want a home-cooked meal so much, go make it yourself. Excuse me? He doesn't make enough for me to wait on him, as if. <sighs> Whatever. Wait, you let dad eat all this junk food? Don't you realize how bad this is for his health? You know he's already weak. Well, he's lived a good life. Just let him enjoy the rest of his time here on Earth. Are you fucking serious? This is my dad we're talking about here. He's your father-in-law for crying out loud. If he hears you saying all this, imagine how he'd feel. Have you thought about that at all? So, he's not my dad. Why should I care? And lower your damn voice. This is not the way to speak to your own wife. <sighs> She's always like this. I have no clue what to do. I guess I'll have to cook dinner for dad myself. He probably hasn't eaten a decent meal all day. Oh, babe, I miss you so much. I miss you too, sweetheart. When can we finally move in together? Just hang in there a little longer. Once my old father-in-law is out of the picture, I'll get my hands on my lousy husband's inheritance, and we can finally be together. I can't wait to finally be with you. We'll create a comfortable life together. Forever. Absolutely. I heard that he's leaving behind a fortune. Wait until I get my hands on that. I'll make sure to take the necessary steps to end my marriage as soon as I can so I can be with you. That sounds like the perfect plan, my dear. I really am the luckiest guy on earth to have an intelligent and beautiful woman such as yourself. You're too sweet. I promise to do whatever it takes to make us happy. Oh, Jennifer, I can't imagine being with anyone else but you. My god, why are you calling me non-stop? What's so urgent that you have to blow up my phone? Where the hell are you? I got a call that dad was rushed to the hospital. You were supposed to be taking care of him at home. Why the fuck is that my fault? I just went out for a bit. Screw me for wanting a few minutes to myself. How can you be so selfish? How can you act without considering others? You know damn well that dad needs to be cared for at all times. Why would you turn your phone off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, all right? I'm busy. When I find time, I'll come over to the hospital. You okay, babe? Who was that? Yeah, I'm okay, baby. Just a random call from someone who had the wrong number. Seems like you get a lot of random calls. Maybe block them or something? Yeah, I know. But it's okay. No big deal. Hello? Hello, Jennifer? I can't figure out what's going on in that stupid little head of hers. She seems to always be busy, but she never does anything useful at home. Something feels off. I've noticed you've been MIA lately. You haven't even visited dad once. Where have you been? What I do and where I go is none of your business, so stop asking. Come on. No matter how busy you are, you should make an effort to visit dad. He's not doing well and I'm really worried. So what? I heard the doctor said your dad only has a few weeks left, right? Yeah, that's right. You should spend some time with him. No matter how busy you are with whatever it is that's taking so much of your time, family always comes first. How many times do I have to tell you? He's not my dad. Gosh, he's so annoying. Why is he being so pushy? <sighs> Jennifer, what... What on earth are you wearing? Why are you dressed like that? What? This is my moment. God, I've been waiting for this day so long. Excuse me? What did you just say? Are you serious, Jennifer? You better believe it. It's about damn time. Now I can claim the fortune he left for us. Y you... You... 
<laughs> Don't cry over spilled milk, honey. FYI, you can expect the divorce papers soon. My lawyer will be sending them to you. Can't say I'm surprised about that. I had a feeling, Jennifer, you've been sneaking around with someone else, haven't you? How did you find out? How could I not? You don't work, yet you're never home. I've always had my doubts, and whenever I checked the cameras, I saw a man picking you up and even kissing you at the front door. It's truly disgraceful. Damn it, he knows. Thanks to that show-off John, my husband found out. Whatever, I don't care. So now you know. Well, I won't hide it anymore. Yes, it's true. I've been with someone else. His name is John. He's better than you in every possible way, and he actually cares about me. That's right. I'm the lucky guy Jennifer's been seeing. You both have no shame. Carrying on like this and proudly displaying it for everyone to see? It's scandalous. So what? We're head over heels for each other, and you can't fight true love. So, if you want a scandal, I'll give you a scandal. Let our guests be part of the show. You're just her husband on paper anyway. Let's change that. You know you're not good for her, and you'll never be half the man I am. Fine, goddammit, I'll agree to the divorce. Just get the hell out of here. Finally. Great. I can't wait to leave anyway. We're out of here. See you in bloody court. As per the will of the late Mr. Jackson, 50% of his estate will be allocated for a charitable fund supporting underprivileged children in Africa, while the remaining 50% will be designated for a fund assisting the homeless in the United States. Now regarding the divorce proceedings between Mr. Thomas and Miss Jennifer, since Mr. Thomas is the sole earner and has provided substantial evidence of Miss Jennifer's infidelity, the court ruling is as follows. Miss Jennifer will be entitled to only 30% of the shared assets, totaling a mere $10,000. The rest will be awarded to Thomas. Do either of you have any objections? What the hell? Only 10 grand? Obviously I object. How is that fair? I'm okay with that, Your Honor. Very well. This concludes the hearing. Thank you all for being present. No, no, no. This can't be fucking happening. Why the hell is all the money going to charity? Didn't he give a damn about me? I took care of him! That's right. Dad did care about you. But in his final moments, he wished to see his daughter-in-law one last time. He forgave all your mistakes, but you constantly let him down time and time again. He believed that family shouldn't feel like strangers. So I agreed to donate his entire fortune to charity. No, no, Thomas, please. I'm sorry. Please, for the love of God, reconsider the divorce. I regret everything. How the fuck am I supposed to live without you? I'm sorry, Jennifer. The court has made its decision. Your regrets won't change a damn thing. Thomas, please. I don't need John. Let me stay with you. What the hell are you talking about? You just want to latch onto me, huh? I've had enough of all that all these damn years. No! Thomas, please! Enough! It's over. We're going our separate ways now, like you planned, right? Now stop bothering me and find your damn happiness with Mr. Perfect. Thomas! <laughs> Jennifer and John moved in together, but since neither had stable jobs, they eventually started running out of money. That's when the fights began. After just a few moments of living together, John's true color showed. He turned into a real jerk, getting drunk every night and physically attacking Jennifer. Being tight for money, Jennifer had to hustle and take on random gigs at convenience stores and even do some grunt work just to scrape by.